Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video. This is episode 111. 111. In the last episode, um, we didn't do too much actually. I deleted the James Ellsworth card. Actually, there was the um, preview for the Ring Dom, but we didn't actually get into Ring Dom gameplay or anything like that. So we're going to do that today. I have got a video that was going to come out later on today. It's another WrestleMania predictions video. But before you say, but you've already released a WrestleMania predictions video. Yes, I have. But... I've done this pretty cool thing, I've taken everyone from Discord, who's always on Discord, that is Keiki, D2, myself, Flame, and Fatboy, and I've put their predictions in. Keiki wasn't in the Discord when we did it, so I added her predictions at the end of the video. But if you like that concept, guys, do tell me in the comments of that video when I do release it later on today. But anyway, let's get into this episode, and let's play some Ring Domination. So for people who don't want to get spoiled about what the cards are, I'm going to go through all the cards from, like, WrestleMania to, like, the... The rest of the other WrestleMania cards. So here we go. If a couple of these, one or two of them, I'm not a hundred percent sure about. So yeah, but we're gonna. I'm like 90, 90, 99 percent sure of them. So the WrestleMania is Undertaker. The SummerSlam is Roman Reigns. The Hardened is AJ Styles. The Elite is The Miz. The Ultimate is Braun Strowman, and the WrestleMania 33 is Baron Corbin. So there we go. Those are all the cards. Um, I did. It was technically a spoiler alert in the, at the beginning before I said it. So don't get mad at me if I spoiled it for you. But as most of you guys want to know what the cards are, there we go. Those are the cards. So if any of them are pro, well, that's awesome and uh, and congrats. So let's see if we can get a shard in today's video. Hopefully we don't get down to the last shard and don't get one. Go down to the last pick and then yeah, you you guys know what I mean. I think we win this one only just, but we do win it, which is pretty good. Um, I get really unlucky. I always place my Shawn Michaels in the middle first, and he always gets taken by the other Shawn Michaels. So what I'm going to do in future, I think, is when I have the Shawn Michaels, I'm going to put him down at the bottom so he can't get taken by another Shawn Michaels. I don't know why I haven't done that before, but that's probably a good idea. But this should be a win already for us. Um, it looks like it's going to be a win. We're going to go ahead and take that Dean Ambrose. As long as he doesn't proc in toughness, and as long as he doesn't call toughness, we're good. Charisma, fine, perfect, that's a win for us. And now, no matter what he does, we are going to go ahead and win this game and get 8 picks on the board. There we go, brilliant. So, as well guys, I have um, a new thumbnail for my live streams, guys. Tell me what you think about them. I think they're absolutely amazing, really, really um, happy with them. So, big shout out to Tico for making that um, thumbnail. So, yeah, they're absolutely awesome. Tell me what you guys think about them as well. Anyway, let's get on to these shards and hope. Oh, brilliant. That is awesome. Get in. Shard straight off the bat. That's exactly what we needed. I will happily take that. I'm going to try and keep going in the same kind of area at the top here. And uh, we'll. Oh, that is awesome. That is really, really cool. Already three shards. That's more than I thought I was going to get in the whole video. And I'll definitely take that. Let's get into. We'll play another four games of this. I will show you guys how bad I'm doing in my King of the Ring. The worst Rest of Thirty Three King of the Ring so far. Which is surprising, considering I've got three WrestleMania Pros in it. But hey, we'll, we'll do some more once we've got a Brock Lesnar Pro and a Ken Shamrock Pro. Damn it, I meant to put the HBK. Okay, never mind. I messed up. Please proc. No, we lose that. That is a loss. That is unfortunate. Let's go and get Cedric Alexander there. Okay, good. We'll get Neville there. Oh, we should have put Ken Shamrock there. That was a mistake. Um... It's going to have to be Randy versus Randy. I win Charisma. And I win Power. I will need to proc in Speed if it calls Speed. Ah, oh, thank God it called Charisma. Get in. That is a win. That is a win. I love that picture on Randy. That elite, the Elite picture on him. I really think that is the best one for him. And it's Charisma. And we are going to go ahead and lose that by like... Oh no, if I would have used support... That serves me right for not using support cards. Serves me right. I know I've already did use my support, never mind. So yeah, but we lost that. Disappointed in that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It's right. I can, I can live with it. Let's get four picks. And hopefully, let's get another shard. I will, I'm very happy with the, with the shard luck so far. Let's go with these three shards in this little, court, this little quadrant at the top. This top right. And we don't get another shard, I don't think. Oh, we do. That is that is awesome. What are the, what is this shard luck? That is that, that is really really awesome. Um, how is that? What is that like four shards already in like two games? I'll, I'll definitely take that. Um, we'll get into a couple more games. If we can get like I would say one more shard, I'd actually be happy with that. One more shard in this video, that'd be great. We got the Shawn Michaels. 
Let's get him there. Good, good, good. We'll put him, we'll put that uh, James Ellsworth there. All right, why haven't I been doing this? Why haven't I been doing this earlier? And that should be a win. There we go. Brilliant. No, I had to play no games there. That's what I want. We need to keep doing that. Definitely need to keep doing that. So Mania's got Mania's in like two days. Who is looking forward to it? I'm really looking forward to it. As I said numerous times, yes, there could be better matches. I'm not excited for a couple of the matches. I'm excited for a couple of them, but I'm not. There are no matches where I think, you know, oh my god, this is the best match ever. I just can't wait for that specific match. But overall, I just can't wait for Mania. Um, because there are going to be some interesting matches, you know. Um, uh, you know, I think I think Taker versus Roman is going to be interesting to see how they do, how they do it, what, what, what they're going to do. Is take is it going to be is it going to be bad? Is Taker going to be in in like because he's not really he does, he's not looking good, is he? He's looking it's looking like he's got a bit of a bit of trouble walking around or taking bumps. So if he's going to put on a thirty minute twenty minute match, um, it's going to be interesting to see if he can. If he can do it, really. So I hope he can, because I, I I do I really do uh, like Undertaker. I, one of my one of my favourites. It's just a shame to see him uh, to see him you know struggle. Let's put it that way. But yeah, I've got my predictions out ready. So let me know what your predictions are as well, because I definitely want to know what your predictions are. Um, in my predictions video, there's a couple couple people on the Discord who went with a couple weird predictions like. A couple, someone went with Shane McMahon, no, I think that's a bit weird. More people, like, I'm pretty surprised with the amount of people who went with Y2J instead of Chris Jericho, so it's going to be interesting to see that match. I'm looking forward for Shane McMahon, AJ Styles, Roman Taker, um, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, I'm looking forward to Austin Aries, Neville, and Triple H. I am looking forward to a lot of matches, as I, yeah, I am, to be fair, no, I am looking forward to a lot of matches. So we're not getting, yeah, there's no shard at the top, so let's see if we can get a shard down at the bottom. But so far, a lot, a lot of shards in that top right uh, quadrant, which is really cool. Alright, let's get into the last, I think this is the last game. Hopefully we can get that Shawn Michaels again, and this can be a win. We do get Shawn Michaels, and we get um, uh, Cedric Alexander, so this should be, this should be good. Should, should get the win here. We are going to get the win, I think, as well. Yeah, this is a win for us. Perfect. There we go. Another eight picks. The question is, can we get a shard? Can we get a shard? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure how many choices we've got left. 16. So it's one in two chance. One in two chance of getting one. All right. I, I, I do I do like those odds, considering my, my shard luck's been pretty good. But you, ne you never know. You never know with this game. Okay. It's not one of those. We're just going to go with these four here in the middle. Doesn't look like we're going to get it. We're down to the last shard, and we don't. We do not. If I have one more battle left, I will play it. We don't. Okay. Let me show you guys King of the Ring, how I'm doing on that. It's pretty shambolic, to be fair. I'm 17-4. I am going to win this game. Clint has got an insane deck, by the way, guys. Insane deck. I don't know how he has lost. Uh, Mark's got a great deck as well. Let me quickly show you this. So I wasn't energized at all because I was sleeping. But, I mean, he's got Nikki Bella. He's got that Shawn Michaels. He's got Mickey. How has he got two WrestleMania Pro Divas? That is awesome. Um, got a load of losses here. Just full of losses. Um, let me show you Clint's deck. Because it is amazing. So, Samojo, Randy Orton, and they tag. And they're WrestleMania 33 Pros. He's got Chris Jericho, WrestleMania 33 Pros. He's got James Ellsworth, WrestleMania 33 Pros. He's got Neville, WrestleMania 33 Pro. He's got Shawn Michaels. That is just an amazing, an amazing deck. God, I would love to have that deck. But unfortunately, I do not. But yeah, that is the video, guys. Not too much uh, ring dumb. I'd have liked to play a little bit more, but you know what? Let, let's let's play. Let's just play one more game and get that like, guaranteed shard if we get a win. Because there's eight pick, there's eight picks left on the board. Let me get you guys one more shard on this video. So double upload today. Um, I will probably I will try and get a stream in as well today. Um, I'm I'm gonna play. I'm look. When I start, when I first started season three, I was kind of only playing Supercard, and that was really the game I was like into, and that was like the only game I was kind of playing. And obviously now I've gone into some games that I used to play, and uh, I'm really enjoying them. And that's I'm spending a lot of my day just playing those games, and that is League of Legends. So if any of you guys play League of Legends, add me. <laughs> that's all I can say. Sorry about that. I um I keep 
I keep accidentally doing that, which is recropping the window where I play Supercard on. It's really annoying. I think I think that should be good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we're going to go and get that common Seth Rollins with our Randy Orton, and that is going to be another win. Got quite lucky there that they went with a common Seth Rollins. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have too much trouble winning that game. <laughs> and there we go. Brilliant. Let's get a guaranteed shard. It is definitely Baron Corbin, as you guys can tell already uh, by, by the picture, by the... The things at the top, you can easily tell that it's Corbin. But yeah, let's get a shard. We are going to get a shard. Is it going to go down to the last one? If it does, I won't be too bothered because our luck has been really decent so far on this WrestleMania 33 card. And there we go. It doesn't go down to the last shard, which is pretty awesome. And let's go get these two big ones right here. And we'll go with one on its face. Can we get another shard? No, we cannot. But that's all good. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, drop a like on it. That'd be really appreciated. I'm going to quickly address something one more time. That is all the dislikes we've been getting on the videos. Just so I can clarify to everyone, that is not actual proper dislikes. Maybe, like, five to ten of those are maybe proper dislikes. But a lot of them are fake dislikes. I'm getting dislike botted right now. It did stop for a little bit, and then it's restarted again. Look, if someone out there wants to waste their money disliking my videos... I could care less. Do I get a little bit frustrated with it? Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but at the end of the day, if you want to waste your money on it, it's all right. Just, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm aware of it, obviously, um, and you can tell because so, you know someone will comment in the video, some just a hate comment, and then that that comment in like the first 10, 20, 30 seconds to maybe a minute, it will have like 10 likes on that comment already. So it's definitely fake. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, really appreciate it, drop a like on it, I need all the support I can get from you guys, obviously, with all these dislikes, so drop a like on it, if you can smash 50 likes, that'd be fantastic, and I'll see you guys in the next video, to them, peace out, and take care.